Hey y'all, I'm Kristen from Hammock Haven Farm and I've been asked to do this video by one of our subscribers. We are going to talk about how I clean up my milking equipment today. Now I've just finished morning milking and brought all the equipment into the house. Um, when I first started doing this with the milk lines, um, I was under the impression that you had to hook it all back up to your pump to run all the sudsy water back through your lines and everything. And that was one of the reasons why I was so hesitant to start with a system with milk lines. Uh, for the longest time I used the belly pail system and that was very convenient in that you could throw everything in the dishwasher, um, but not so convenient in that when you've got big producers like mine, um, two goats would fill the pail. So I did finally go to the milk line system and when I first started, I um, started by bringing buckets of bleach water and sudsy water out to the barn with me to, and it just took longer than emptying those belly pails. I don't have hot water in the barn. I don't really have a good place to clean up out there. So that was not working. Finally decided if I'm gonna do this, I've gotta clean up in the house. So that's what we do and this is how we do it. First thing I'm gonna do is now that I've emptied out the pail, you see it's got um, just some film left in there. And so I use the sprayer to rinse this out with warm water. So I'm just gonna rinse the whole thing out with warm water. I got this spray chase. All right. Then starting with a clean kitchen sink, I'm gonna get the milk lines out and get those rinsed out. Put them in the side of the sink. We use an inline filter. So pull the filter out and throw that away. And then same thing, I rinse out these lines with warm water. And at this point, I'll usually just add a little bit of Dawn and rinse that through to Dawn dishwashing liquid. And then do the same thing with the other half of this, because remember it's divided in the middle by that inline filter, which actually makes it easier to clean um, because I don't have such a long tube all in, in one place. So, when I do put a brush through it, uh, it's a lot easier to do. Got a little Dawn, rinse those out. Okay, now since some of the lines actually run along the ground outside, I don't want to just fill this up with um, sudsy water. I want to rinse off all the outside of the line. So I'm gonna use the sprayer and warm water again to do that. There's nothing stuck on them. Then I plug up the sink and add, um, I use a glug of this uh, dairy utensil cleaner. I get this on Amazon. And for every day clean up, a slug of bleach in the warm water. on my gloves so I'm not in the bleach. I take the, I want to get these all rinsed out like you would if you were running it through your machine. So I just really run a lot of the bleach and suds through the hoses to get it cleaned out. Now I don't every day, but about once a week, I do a deep cleaning where I use an acid wash, and I'll show you that in a minute, instead of the bleach. And on those days, I'll also take a brush and brush out the inflations. I've got an inflation brush, and then a line brush that will go through the lines, and you can actually brush the lines up with that, but I don't do that every day. Um, on those days, I'll also pull the 
caps off the back of these and make sure that everything's all cleaned up in those. Um, that's not something I do every day. So, rinse the suds off. And then rinse these out real well with clean warm water. This smaller line is just a vacuum line. It doesn't have anything but air go up in it. So I just make sure I rinse the suds out of the outside and get any water that got up in there. Let that drain out. Now these get hung on a hook on the back of our laundry room door to dry. And same thing with the other part of our line. Rinse it out with lots of sudsy water, rinse it out with clear water and hang it up to dry. A couple other pieces to wash. I've got the lid. Make sure you take the gasket off, rinse it out with clear water. And then on this, I'll take a clean dishcloth and wipe the inside and out. Rinse. That gets laid out here to dry. I've got the spring, the gasket, and there's a little cork because I only use one set of lines so I don't have to milk two lines. So I have to cork the other. My cork is lost in there, there it is. <laughs> Fish in a cork. So, rinse out all those. And then it's time to wash my pail. And to do that, I take it and I dip it in the water this way. And then use my clean cloth to wipe out all the inside. And then the outside, making care to get up underneath the rim here. The milk will sometimes get up under there. And then rinse it off with the sprayer. And I leave this on the counter to dry. I usually leave it upright a little bit for the rest of the water to settle in the bottom and then I'll pour it back out in a few minutes. Okay. For my acid wash that I do about once a week, I use this star sand. Um, do not mix this with bleach, so do it on a different day than you use the bleach. It helps to take any of the um, milk scale or the film um, that might get on your equipment off. So follow the directions on this and use it instead once a week. And that's pretty much it. That's, uh, it was a lot easier than me bringing pails outside to run through the machine and I think a lot cleaner in the house than in the, uh, than in the barn. So if you have any questions, leave them below. Meanwhile, thank you for watching and please take the time to share and subscribe.